Thank you. Thank you. President, please be seated. The court is back in session. And the chamber now gives the floor to the different teams for the accused to put questions to this witness. Please wait, uh, defend counsel for the accused. Judge uh, Claudia Fentz may have some questions uh, to put to this witness. You may now proceed, Judge Fentz. Yeah, it's two short Fence. questions following up questions from the co-lead lawyers. Pour, uh, you said yesterday um, many people fell sick Hier, and many were taken away for execution because they were accused of conscious illness, obviously meaning fake imaginary illness. Can you tell me who made the decision on whether an illness was true or faked? And I'm not interested at the moment in the story about the blindness and the embers. I remember this story, but aside from this story, who made the decision if an illness was a real illness or a faked illness? When there were many workers in one unit fell sick, uh, the medical staff would uh, go around and check. The medical staff was the one who decided whether or not or one particular individual got uh, Real sickness. Véritablement malade. And this is the medical Question. staff whom you described as having no um, medical expertise or no Is that true? Or did they have any training? Ces personnes avaient-elles reçu une formation quelconque? Answer. Réponse. Those medical staff uh, were all illiterate, Toutes they were not educated, and there were only uh, the so-called rabbit-dropping billets for the sick. And uh, the medical staff uh, was the one who made the decision whether or not one got uh, imaginary illness or real illness. Can you give me an example how this worked? The medical staff went to the person who said, my belly hurts like hell. What happened then? What did the medical staff do? Did he ask questions? Did he examine the person or did he just look at him? Faisait-il simplement le regarder? Bah. Answer. Réponse. Through my observation, d'après ce uh, que j'ai observé, the medical staff had a small bag, and within that bag there were herbal medicines. And most of the time, the medical staff would, would go to the sickness and donc, touch the the body of uh, the sick, and the medical staff would ask questions what kind of illness uh, one particular person had, and then the sick uh, would reply, after which uh, ma the medicine would be administered or prescribed for that sick person. Mm -hmm. um, and um, can you describe a case where the medical staff said, no, you are lying, this is a fake illness? Or were there just cases where he touched the person and said, you are lying? Réponse. Answer. Within my unit, I 
did not see my workers had such so-called fake illness, and the medical staff I never found anyone in my unit who had such a fake illness. And I observed that the medical staff uh, would uh, go to the sick and uh, hand it out the medicines for the sick to have. And perhaps in other units uh, there may be some people who got a fake illness, but I do not know about that. You say yesterday, and I quote, I think verbally, um, many were taken away for executions because they were accused of conscious, so imaginary illness. I'm quoting you, that's what you said yesterday. Page 64 of the, of the draft um, um, transcript. But... President, please wait, uh, Mr. Président. Witness. You may not proceed. Mr. Kung Sam On. Counsel Kung Sam On. Uh, Your Honor, Judge uh, Fence, could you Madame tell me, uh, the, tell us the time mark in that transcript? No, because I couldn't find Madame it. It's page 64 in the English version of the transcript that came this morning. Uh, I'm quoting it verbatim. President uh, Judge Fend, uh, could you please uh, repeat your question? The question by repeating what you said yesterday, at least according to the draft transcript, the English version, as was delivered this morning. There was a discussion about flies first. Um, and then you said many people fell sick and many were taken away for executions because they were accused of conscious illness. But answer the so called imaginary sickness. It, some people said they had such a so-called imaginary sickness. There were people who pretended um, that uh, they were sick in my unit. However, when uh, we were all working in the field, uh, the one who said that he or she uh, was sick went around to pick up uh, vegetables or plants, and this person would be accused of uh, having uh, the imaginary sickness. And, and in my unit, uh, there is no one. There was no one who had uh, the imaginary sickness, and I told uh, the court already that I do not know about uh, other units. But then again, why did you say what I just quoted? I am quoting you. You said yesterday. Many were taken away for executions because because they were excused, uh, accused of imaginary illness. That's what you said. C'est ce que vous avez dit. But, answer. Réponse. Yesterday, I made mention about workers' health issues. There were many plies and many people fell sick. And uh, some who had imaginary people were taken away and killed. And I recall that perhaps I may not have said about the, the people who had imaginary illness. Well, I can only quote from the English uh, script. Now, just to be clear now, do you know outside your unit? I understand in your unit this never happened. But are you aware of cases outside your unit where people with imaginary illnesses were taken away and executed.
บ้านเรา <coughs> ปีกองระบบเชื่อมบาทเชื่อมบาทตุ่มดึง The members of my unit I have no idea what was going on in other units. Je n'ai aucune idée de ce qui se passait dans d'autres unités. And it might make sense to review the transcript and see if it's correctly translated. Um, thank you. That's all for my side. Merci. C'est tout pour moi. President, you have the floor now, Judge Salavani. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, you, Mr. President. Uh, Monsieur le témoin, um, j'ai compris de I votre déposition que la situation des travailleurs au barrage de Trapentma était différente selon qu'ils faisaient partie d'une unité qui était une unité mobile de la coopérative ou une unité mobile qui dépendait directement de la région. Et j'ai compris que les travailleurs qui étaient affectés aux unités mobiles des coopératives souffraient beaucoup de malnutrition, que certains en étaient malades, Some became ill because of this, and that some even died. Ceux and qui, comme vous, that those who, like you, who were part directement of uh, la région, units that were directly tied to the sector une ration de would receive qui était food rations suffisante. that were adequate. -ce que bien so did I understand votre déposition? your testimony properly? Ban. Answer. Those who accomplish a three cubic meter of soy per day got two cans of rice, and if the rice was combined together with that of other workers, that was enough for us to eat. Ce riz au reste du riz pour les travailleurs, il y avait assez à manger. Est-ce que dans votre unité unit, ou dans les unités où, euh, qui étaient rattachées à la région, il y a eu des gens qui ont souffert de malnutrition. Là, je ne parle pas des unités qui sont rattachées aux coopératives, mais des unités qui sont soit rattachées au district, soit rattachées à la région. Est-ce que dans ces unités-là, il y a des gens qui ont souffert de malnutrition Answer. Regarding mobile units at the sector level, Actually, there was no supplementary diet of food for all of us, and they suffered from malnutrition. Et souffraient de malnutrition. Bien, je suis pas sûr d'avoir tout à fait compris. Donc je pose une dernière fois la question. Dans votre unité, par exemple, est-ce que les gens souffraient de malnutrition? Est-ce qu'il y avait des gens qui n'avaient pas assez à manger compte tenu de ce qu'ils devaient faire, dépenser comme force de travail Je comprends votre question. Le travail était le labor. And as for food, the food was not enough for us. The work was very hard, and there was not enough of food. Bien, donc je comprends que dans toutes les unités, tous les travailleurs avaient faim. Certains pouvaient avoir plus faim que d'autres. Est-ce que c'est bien cela qu'on doit comprendre Is that what I must understand? Bad. Answer. It is true. 
in that period c'est vrai cadres uh, had uh, a little bit more pool than the other cadres avaient un peu plus de nourriture and que les uh, for people uh, below uh, or people other than cadres they did not have enough food et ceux qui n'étaient pas eat. des cadres n'avaient pas assez de nourriture je vous remercie pour ces Thank clarifications. J'aimerais maintenant vous poser des questions like en ce qui concerne les techniciens qui ont pu travailler sur le chantier. Est-ce qu'à un moment donné, Taval a demandé au chef d'unité de rechercher des gens qui avaient des compétences pour construire des barrages To build dams. Et est-ce que certaines personnes And ont pu aider Taval dans cette tâche Did certain people assist Tahan uh, in uh, looking for these people But no paying Taval ban cancer. Taval convened a meeting among. Taval all chief of units. Uh, he was looking for engineers to build a bridges one, two, and three ponts, un, deux, et along the dam. He asked me whether there were any uh, engineers in uh, my unit, and I replied and told him that uh, in Je my unit there were only illiterate members. And later on, I heard that uh, Taval could uh, find uh, some engineer from perhaps other units, but I do not know where they were from. Vous vous souvenez du nom de ces ingénieurs et de ceux qui sont devenus par la suite Answer, yes, I recalled the name oui. Je at that time, Chien Ken, nom, Chien or Ken, Ta Ken. Ou Ta Ken. He said he was a former engineer in the previous regime. Sous régime. He was uh, a real engineer. Il était véritablement ingénieur. And uh, this engineer asked Taval uh, how large uh, of the bridge Taval, Taval wanted uh, to build. And at the time, la du pont que vous Taval uh, told uh, Taval Tateng, that is the engineer, Tateng, qui, ça, of the intention that uh, he wanted uh, to voulait. build uh, the bridge Faire and uh, iron. Iron bar or the bab wire and cements uh, were uh, taken for that engineer and uh, the construction uh, ciment, des de fer, was started based on uh, what the engineer commencé told. La construction ce dit Donc cet ingénieur, si je comprends so bien, il a well, supervisé l'exécution technique des travaux du barrage. Et est-ce que vous savez ce qu'il est devenu dam. ensuite And do you know what survécu? happened to him later on? Did he survive the regime? Answer. Bridges 1, 2, and 3 uh, were not completely built uh, when the engineer was there because uh, there was lack of uh, cement, iron bars, des ponts 1, 2 et 3, and car on manquait de ciment, bad de wire, de métal, and the uh, engineer were relocated uh, to work at Cha Con Tieng. Later on, My unit was uh, relocated to work elsewhere, and I do not know whether Tard, that engineer survived the period or died in the period. Si cet a survécu ou non pendant la période. 
Vous avez parlé ce matin morning, de la visite sur le chantier de certains militaires et notamment vous avez fait état de la visite d'un Chinois qui s'appelait Chen Mengui. En tout c'est comme ça que vous l'avez appelé. Uh, Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire so si, en dehors de ce personnage, il y avait des techniciens chinois this, uh, qui sont venus rendre visite au barrage, ou qui étaient là euh, en permanence ou de façon régulière. Est-ce que vous avez noté la présence de you know the presence of Chinese techniciens chinois en dehors de Chiang Meng Kui Of Chinese technicians aside from Chiang Meng Kui. Mais, nous an instruction to uh, invite the well-built people to stand in the front line to welcome the Chinese delega delegation. And uh, he told us that uh, when uh, the well-built workers arrived at the scene, the workers had to say welcome the Chinese bon, delegation Chiang Ming Kui. At that time, et, uh, we could see three fair complexion people. Gens, they uh, came to visit uh, the dam work site. Da Val uh, introduced the three individuals at the Ta time, but uh, we could notice there were some other people nous, with a white complexion or fair complexion, but uh, they, uh, did, uh, they were not introduced by Da Val, except the three uh, uh, Chinese aussi, that I mentioned earlier. Présenté par Ta Val, sauf les trois Chinois dont j'ai parlé tout à l'heure. Vous parlez de cette visite, euh, et vous dites qu'elle a eu lieu en 1978. Selon vous, cette visite, elle a eu lieu avant so, l'arrivée des cadres qui venaient du sud-ouest, ou elle a eu lieu après Et est-ce que vous vous souvenez si, par exemple, Rosnim était présent lors de cette inauguration Et si vous n'en souvenez pas, vous dites que vous n'en souvenez pas. Say you don't bah. no Answer. Back then, I heard of the name Runium, but I did know oh, did not know uh, this individual uh, personally i uh, did not know at the time whether he was uh, among the delegation et cette visite du dignitaire chinois c'était avant l'arrivée des cadres qui venaient du sud-ouest occur after or before the arrival of the southwest zone cadres But answer the inauguration uh, was held and two or three days uh, after there was the arrival of uh, Southwest Zone cadres. Les cadres du Sud-Ouest sont arrivés. Sur le site du chantier du barrage de Trapintma, est-ce qu'il y avait du matériel comme des camions, kind of des bulldozers trucks, ou d'autres engins de chantier qui étaient utilisés Et si oui, est-ce qu'il y en avait beaucoup Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire
บ้าเปิดเดสซังซองอังซ่ายูริงกับดีคอนสตรักชันไอโนติสเดอร์วอสเอวิฮิคอลคอนสตรักชันฉันเห็นเขาเห็นรถเดอร์วิฮิคอลถูกใช้ทุกทางในการส่งสารดีอาร์อกและฉันเห็นว่ามีการขับรถวิ่งและรถแข่งขันที่มีรถจักรยานและฉันเห็นด้วยกับรถแข่งขันรถแข่งขันทรัพย์และก็ทรัพย์ที่ถูกใช้ในการขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถและนี่คือสิ่งที่ฉันเห็นในที่ขับรถ There were no new vehicles or material from des, any country, namely China. C'était une machinerie euh, usée. Us, enfin, il n'y avait pas de nouveaux engins, il n'y avait pas de machinerie nouvelle, et comme par exemple si elle avait été neuve, achetée en Chine. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Monsieur le témoin, pour toutes ces Witness clarifications, et je n'ai pas de questions no questions à vous poser. มาขอบคุณเจ็บต่อตอนนี้อาเบียพระดาวิสกาชุนเตยของมิตรบีชาร์จที่ทั้งหมดนี้ถูกให้ทุกท่านตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์ที่ตั้งคำถามให้ท่านนุ่นเชียร์Uh, extensively Vous today and yesterday. Um, you said in your um, statement to DCCAM that you were close DCCAM, to Taval uh, and you repeated this um, yesterday uh, at the hearing. Um, You also said in your DC Camp statement that you got along well with him. Dans votre uh, but you also said um, that you um, dared verbally to confront him sometimes. Et que vous pouviez um, des confrontations verbales avec lui. That is um, on page 00728. Six to five in English, French. Zero one one two three five nine one. Zero zero seven three zero seven eight six. When you said that, Mr. Witness, that you dared verbally confront him sometimes. President, Mr. Copey, please slow down to allow. Space or time for interpreters to interpret your, the reference you mentioned. Please speak slowly so that uh, it is the benefit is for the benefit of audience and also for the proceedings. Uh, certainly, Mr. President. Yes, um, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, when you said Monsieur that you dared to uh, verbally confront him sometimes, what did you mean with that? When you said that to the police can investigate. C'est ce que vous avez dit euh, à l'enquêteur du CDCAM. Job, I would do, and I would make the report to him frankly. And if I could not perform the task I was assigned by him, I I would not do, and I would reject the assignment by him if I 
uh, could not sure. take it. And after I performed uh, my duty as assigned by him, I would come back uh, to uh, tell him and tell him the truth of what I saw, what I observed. And how did he then usually react uh, when you were et comment réagissait-il uh, quand vous aviez des affrontements avec lui report? ou quand vous lui faisiez un tel rapport Answer. He said nothing. Réponse. He Il never used a big voice against me. Jamais... But he oh, la voix. warned me that I had Mais... to be cautious Il dit que je uh, faire with my duties dans l'exécution de mes tâches. I, he, he wants me to be uh, cautious of what I uh, did. Il voulait que je sois prudent. And let me, I, I will get back to Taval, but um, je reviendrai sur now let us go, de Taval. Mr. Witness, to the inauguration of the que dam. Parle de um, de la... You were just asked questions about this. On vient tout juste de um, poser des questions à ce sujet. And you said that Taval uh, spoke at this inauguration Taval, uh, and that um, the Chinese delegation uh, was there, Chim Yong Kui was there. Uh, do you remember Taval's exact words? Vous souvenez-vous de ce qu'a dit Taval exactement? But, pay me que Kiam Naptal. At the time, I was uh, with him. À cette époque-là, j'étais avec lui. And he said, as I uh, told the court, uh, he told us that the Chinese delegation uh, came to inaugurate uh, the construction. And at that time, uh, Taval also reported on the progress uh, made on the construction of the work site. For example, the length of the dam the workforce uh, deployed uh, for the construction, construction. and there uh, was also interpreter uh, for the Chinese uh, delegation. And I noticed at that time uh, from the distance that uh, uh, he uh, knocked uh, the head, uh, but I did not hear uh, him interpreting. Um, when Taval spoke to the Chinese delegation, um, how much of the dam was already finished? Was that um, what you said earlier, 95% of the dam was already finished when Taval spoke? At that time, uh, the work was not uh, completed. Uh, it was not up to 90%. I, I think uh, uh, it may have been around 60% uh, or so uh, completed. And after the uh, delegation uh, came, uh, the uh, completion uh, timeline was about 95% uh, or so at that time, and we tried to pile up the, uh, the ground you know, for the construction of the uh, bridges. Uh, let me read a small excerpt, Mr. Witness, from your DC CAM statement in relation to this uh, visit. Um, English EN 0728. Uh, 631, French 011-23597, and um, command 0073079798, and uh, and uh, after, after having read this, I will ask your reaction, Mr. Ritz. Ching Yang Kui drove a car when he came to Chaping tomorrow. They saw our brigades. Taval asked the workers to weave a palm leaf hat 
with red pieces of cloth for the Chinese delegate because he wanted it. Really? That's the question. Yes, you answer. The Chinese wanted the palm leaf head. We normally did not use the tiny cloth, but we laughed uh, when the Chinese delegate wore it awkwardly. But we were told not to laugh. We secretly said this person was crazy because he put on that hat wrongly. Taval did not say anything because he did not speak the Chinese language. Question, did Taval speak Chinese? No, he did not. He just smiled and greeted them. So did the Chinese also spoke Khmer? He knew some greeting words. Question, did he come with Tahun? Yes, he came with uh, Tahun once. Do you recall having said that, Mr. Witness, to DCCAM? Well, yes, I do recall uh, that uh, answer. When the Chinese delegation arrived, we uh, clapped uh, our hand uh, to welcome them. And for the Chinese uh, uh, delegations, they wanted to wear the uh, palm leaf uh, hat uh, that uh, we uh, traditionally made, you know. Um, and one of the Chinese uh, delegates actually uh, took the uh, palm leaf uh, hat and he uh, put it on his hat. But generally, when we present it at, as a gift uh, for our friends, uh, we would uh, tie a red bow uh, in front of it. But then when the Chinese delegate uh, put it on his hat, he just uh, put the bow to the back and everyone was laughing at him. Um, now you said that uh, Taval spoke at this uh, inauguration um, meeting ceremony. Did Tahung also speak? But. At that time, Tahung was uh, from the uh, zone committee level, but participating in the inauguration, uh, he did not make any speech uh, at the time. He only sat nearby the Chinese delegation. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to ask you something, and I would like to ask you to think very clearly um, about what I'm going to ask you. Um, we know for a fact that the Chinese delegation came to visit the dam at the inauguration in mid-December 1977. We also know for a fact that Tahung and Taval were arrested in June 1977, six months earlier. Can you explain to me how it was possible that Taval and Tahun spoke six months after their arrest? When they inaugurated uh, the Trepang Tmor construction dam, uh, Taval, both Taval and Tahung had not been arrested uh, yet. Uh, both of them uh, were arrested when the southwest zone cadres arrived in the northwest zone. Um, but I'm telling you, Mr. Witness, there is undisputed evidence that the visit took place in December 77. And uh, all parties agree, I think, uh, that Taval and Tahung were arrested in June 77. So they could not have been speaking at the inauguration um, ceremony in December. Is that correct? But that is not correct. Certainly not correct. Why? It was incorrect because the inauguration ceremony 
uh, was held and Tawal had not been arrested yet. Upon the arrival of the uh, southwest zone cadres in the south uh, in the northwest zone, uh, Tawal was arrested then. And as for other uh, date, uh, I might. Uh, got confused with the dates, but this one I am precisely clear. Precisely clear as in 100% sure? Question, lorsque vous dites certain, c'est à 100% que vous êtes certain? It happened more than 30 years ago. I cannot recall the entire story completely. So whatever I have testified, and if I uh, have uh, misstated the date uh, uh, unintentionally, then uh, I seek apology from uh, the bench. Well, Mr. Witness, well, I, I put it to you that what you have been describing is what you have seen uh, at the dam, while speaking, rece receiving the Chinese guests was impossible. Uh, so you're not making a mistake with the dates, you're making, you're telling something that didn't happen. Is that correct? The President, uh, Mr. Witness, please hold on. Uh, Mr. International Prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci pour ne pas poser une question qui pourrait paraître injuste au témoin. Peut-être faudrait-il clarifier si les délégations chinoises, peut-être que la défense pourra poser des questions de savoir si des délégations chinoises sont arrivées à plusieurs reprises sur le site. Que la confusion peut être des dates ou bien peut être aussi de confondre certaines visites. Sure, Mr. Prosecutor. We're talking about the visit of Vice Premier uh, Chen Yung Kui. Uh, it is ample uh, evidence uh, that he only came to visit uh, DK once. He was on a 15-day tour in December, so there's absolutely no confusion as to what we're talking about. I understand that the prosecution tries to save this witness, but uh, I don't think that's um, appropriate. So I'm entitled to make sure um, uh, what the witness is saying. The president. Witness is directed to respond to the question uh, put to you by the counsel for Mr. Nunjir. And at this juncture, I uh, wish to also uh, inform the uh, witness uh, to be uh, very clear on, on the two things. One is the inauguration ceremony. The other one is the visit. Uh, so this is an important uh, two distinct uh, events, so I, I hope that you did not uh, get confused. The official visit is one thing, and the uh, inauguration ceremony is another. So these two functions uh, are um, distinct. So when in answering or responding to the questions, you should understand these two. Witness, I do not get the question very well. Could you please uh, put the question again? The President, uh, Mr. Coupe, could you please uh, put your last question again uh, to the witness? Um, let me try to rephrase it. Mr. Witness, you said there was an inauguration ceremony. Um, the Chinese... Uh, Vice Premier Chen Yong Kui was there. He said that the dam had been finished 60-70%. Uh, and you also said that Taval spoke and that Tahung was present. Now, both Taval and Tahung were arrested six months before this inauguration uh, uh, ceremony. So I'm putting it to you that your, your memory cannot be correct 
je que Taval et Tahun n'étaient pas là. Correct. Et c'est exact. That is not correct. Ce n'est pas exact. Because uh, at the inauguration ceremony Parce of the Pant Mo, Taval delivered a speech Mo, and he said uh, directly uh, that uh, they, uh, he said that uh, that was an official visit and it was also the inauguration uh, of the construction uh, work site. So I only repeat uh, the word that Taval uh, said uh, during his uh, speech at that time. So it, there was no um, distinction actually between the uh, inauguration ceremony and the official visit. I only repeat uh, Taval's words uh, that this was an official visit and that was also an inauguration ceremony. And as for uh, Sin Jin Kui, uh, at the time he also came to visit the first uh, bridge and at that time Taval had not yet been arrested. Um. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, I will move on to some more questions now, going back again to Taval. Um, was Taval, uh, in your recollection, uh, an intellectual? Est-ce que Taval était un intellectuel, d'après vos souvenirs? But uh, it is my guess. I did not know whether or not he was an intellectual, but based on his uh, literacy, his ability to write and read, uh, I uh, think that he was uh, educated. Uh, he wrote uh, very well and for example when he wrote uh, to me he said uh, exemple, beloved comrade Singh please uh, carry out this action or that action so on and so forth and he said uh, tomorrow you had to uh, deploy uh, the force uh, and withdraw the troop from one place to another place And I also uh, used uh, to see uh, him write uh, something as well, uh, particularly on the sketch of the uh, construction dam uh, structure at the time. So he was, uh, to me, to my uh, observation, he was uh, fairly educated. Did you ever hear him speak French? But no, I never heard him speak uh, French, but I uh, only used uh, to see him uh, drink uh, the uh, whiskey. Mais je l'ai vu boire du whisky. There is a witness who um, testified to this exam that when he and Tahun would walk on the dam side, uh, they would speak French to each other. Have you ever heard that or have you ever noticed this? No, I have heard of that. I have never heard uh, him speak French. Uh, in your DC CAM statement, um, Mr. Witness, zero, uh, English zero zero seven two eight six two nine, French zero one one two three five nine four, and uh, Khmer zero zero seven three zero seven nine three. Uh, you said that um, if Taval would 
come visit the dam work site, um, you would listen to the sound of the spades. And if you heard hurried spades, then he was arriving. Were you trying to say that uh, once word um, came out at the dam site that Taval was approaching, that everybody started working? The president, uh, there was no uh, Khmer translation. Uh, there might have been because of the uh, technical glitch. Uh, court officer, can you please uh, check if the interpretation system is functioning? The President, uh, Council uh, Victor Coupe, could you please uh, repeat your last question because uh, uh, there was uh, disruptions uh, in the uh, interpretations. It could have been uh, because of the uh, translation issue. So please uh, slow down a bit uh, so that it is clear for the record for everyone. I will, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness. Um, I wanted to confront you with an excerpt from your own DCCAM statement uh, in which you said that um, you remembered that um, when Taval was approaching or entering uh, the, uh, the dam work site that you uh, heard uh, the sound of hurried spades. Um, spades were going quicker. Um, and that if you heard hurried space, everybody was in chaos because Taval came. Is that something that you said uh, to DCCAM? Yes, that is correct. I did uh, give my uh, statement uh, to the DC CAM because the laborers, uh, to my understanding, uh, all the workers, myself included, uh, was very uh, afraid of uh, Taval. The first time when we had to be on the offensive to complete the project, and one day Taval uh, this guy did himself uh, as the uh, workers and he put the uh, palm leaf uh, hat and uh, a stick and he just uh, went uh, to oversee uh, the workers working in the construction site uh, and if anybody was not working he would uh, beat uh, that person with the stick he was carrying so at that time we were uh, vigilant so if we uh, if we heard, we had to keep our ears uh, you know, open all the time, and we had to be on alert. If we knew that people were working very hard on the other side, we had to do it because we understood that people would uh, be uh, monitoring the activities of the workers. And of course, uh, Taval did uh, go out at night to monitor the work uh, when uh, laborers was working uh, during night shift. Um. Now, something else you said about Taval in your statement was um, on page uh, here in English 00728623 and um, French 011235589 and Command 00730783. You said um, that the only mistake of Taval was the killing of people. Um, is that something that you said to this camp? And if yes, what did you mean with that? Because uh, 
Tawal was the leader of the uh, reach uh, of the sector mobile brigade. So, I believe that without the permission uh, from Tawal, or he was lenient on uh, the punishments on the his uh, subordinate uh, below uh, his rank uh, to carry out the execution, nobody would uh, uh, have uh, carried out uh, the execution. Um, now, Mr. Witness, the, the picture that you have painted of Taval um, is, uh, is quite explicit. And I can imagine that uh, the moment that you heard the news that he was called for a study session and subsequently never came back and later turned out that he was arrested, that that must have made you very happy at the time. Is that correct or is that not correct? On this uh, point, Taval often uh, called us for meeting. At that time, actually, the uh, study sessions or meeting uh, was used interchangeably. So at, at that time, uh, so all of us at that time, whenever Taval called us for meeting, and others say uh, call us for study sessions, and others use uh, meeting. So sometimes we were call for a meeting and then he issued reprimand uh, for uh, us. For example, we were uh, tardy in our work. And there was one point in time when uh, he called for a meeting. Uh, he gave everyone the cigarette and he offered the jackfruit for others. Uh, at the time, he shared with everyone. And there was one man reported uh, to him, uh, one on the uh, challenges uh, that, uh, in their task, uh, the easy things and the difficult things that they had to do uh, at that time. For example, others reported that uh, they uh, did not have the uh, knife uh, to cut the, the bushes. They had to use the hoe uh, to cut them. And Taval advised uh, that uh, if uh, it was uh, difficult, uh, then he would ask uh, the workers to plant cotton somewhere along uh, National Road Number 6. Uh, after saying that, he passed uh, the uh, cigarette to uh, some workers uh, at the time. Um, maybe, uh, Mr. Witness, my question didn't come across well. Um, my question was, um, when you found out that Taval had been called to a study session and never came back, uh, were you not happy? That this killer, this cruel man, was finally arrested. The president, uh, witness, uh, please hold on. Uh, international prosecutor, you, uh, you have the floor. Oui, j'ai une objection déjà de demander si une personne pourrait être heureuse que quelqu'un d'autre disparaisse ou vienne être exécuté. Ce ne me semble pas tout à fait approprié. Mais dans la question, il y a un lien qui semble être fait entre l'arrestation ou l'exécution de Taval et le fait qu'il aurait été cruel. Ce n'est pas un lien qui a été établi. Euh, ce n'est pas quelque chose qui, euh, sur lequel peut se reposer une question parce que ce n'est pas établi jusqu'à présent. Of this nature, because no such link has been established by council. Uh, you've lost me completely, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, my question actually was um, whether the arrest, or I actually formulated it differently, whether the calling to a study session and not returning of Taval was something that made um, the witness 
happy considering uh, the things that he has been saying about Dava. So I think that is a, an appropriate question. I wasn't actually asking about execution. I was asking about the arrest. Uh, did the fact, Mr. Witness, let me reformulate, uh, that Daval uh, all of a sudden uh, was gone and didn't come back, did that make you happy or not at all? rendu content ou pas Dang Akram ka krpong bas taval Khien na sa ba chat te Mien te lek ba te lek tha sa tu sa administration uh, nobody was happy with him once he disappeared uh, everyone was uh, happy and uh, uh, people uh, actually uh, wanted him uh, to be uh, removed, uh, so everyone wished that uh, he were uh, taken away. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, now, uh, you've also said, uh, answering a question, I think it was from the prosecution, uh, that Taval said he was uh, loyal to the party. Um, now, if he had been loyal to the party, do you know why he was arrested? At that time, he did uh, advise uh, everyone to be loyal to the party, and he himself was loyal to the party. Of course, this, was, this could have been a lip service. We did not really know what uh, he was thinking at the time. We did not know whether or not he was genuinely uh, loyal to the party. I understand what you're saying, Mr. Witness, but what was the reason? Uh, did you hear at the time um, why Taval, but also Tahon and others were arrested? What was the reason uh, for their going to a study session and subsequently being arrested? Answer. I do not know the reason Je ne sais they pas. were in the management or leadership. However, upon the yes. arrival of Southwest Zone cadres, the cadres uh, at that Northwest Zone uh, disappeared one after another. Uh, As I said, I do not know what happened, Mais comme je why dit, they je disappeared. Mr. Witness, I would like to uh, confront you um, with a statement of somebody else uh, about Taval and Tahon, um, and I would like to ask your reaction. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I would like to show uh, the name of this witness, um, it's the same person that I uh, referred to yesterday, it's E3-9076, and I would like to show this first to my page of his uh, statement and then ask the witness whether he knows this name. President, your request is granted. Le président, la Chambre fait droit à votre requête. Mr. Witness, um, do you, without without Monsieur saying the name, but do you know who this person is? Sans dire le nom à porte, pouvez-vous nous dire si vous connaissez cette personne?
one more time. Just say yes or no if you know the person. Don't please vous don't uh, mention his name. Si vous connaissez personne, je vous prie, ne dites pas son nom à voix haute. Do you know this man? Connaissez-vous cette personne? Bonne journée. Le président. President, um, call of, uh, officer, please check the sound system of his headset. Veuillez vérifier si les écouteurs du témoin fonctionnent bien. Look, uh, President, uh, Mr. Copper, please repeat your last question. Répéter votre dernière question. Uh, Mr. Witness, without saying the name out loud, uh, but do you know this man? Do you know him? 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 Yes, I know him very well. Oui, je le connais très bien. And is he someone who knew Taval at the time also quite well? Et connaissait-il Taval Connaissait-il bien Taval à l'époque, comme vous Bad. Réponse. Answer. We were in different units at that Nous time. Nous étions dans Des unités différentes. Whether that individual was close to Taval or whether this individual knew Taval well, I cannot say. Je ne saurais dire si cette personne connaissait bien Taval. Now let me read an excerpt from Je vais lire his VC uh, camp statement to you, uh, and then I would like to ask your reaction. Uh, as I said, Mr. President, is E3/9076. English ERN 00731171, Khmer 00728870, and um, 71. Uh, there is no French um, uh, ERN yet. Mr. Witness, I'm reading now a question and answer session. Uh, to this Donc, je vais vous lire witness. L'échange entre le syndicat et ce témoin. How about How about Tachil? Tachil, when he came with Tahum, it was G A two. Did they ride together? A deux. Question. Yes. Officially, he came and talked normally. Réponse. Oui. Officiellement, il venait par normalement. Question. How about Tanim? Did he come? Qu'en est-il de Tanim? He came, but did not get out of the G A two. Il n'est pas sorti de la G A deux. Did he not? No. Question. Non. Réponse. Non. He came, but did not get out of the car. Out of the car. Il est venu, mais il n'est pas sorti de la voiture. Pourquoi? Yes, Réponse. he headed, oui. Nim headed to Taval's place, il, let's walk around, à, uh, uh, Tachil Taval, said when uh, he, uh, Tanim came, Tahum assigned il, regional venait, four to Tahum five persons to escort him. Did he come quite often or never? He came quite often, yes. When there was a plan, later on he came in at night and daytime. In the evening, and sometimes at 2 p.m. What did he, Tanim, come for? Question. Answer. He brought sandals, Cambodian sandals from the eastern zone for the mobile units. Wow. Bring sandals. Answer. Nice sandals were given to us. At the time, there was a plan. I was very afraid of that plan. Question. What kind of plan? Quel genre de plan? Answer. Réponse. When Taval spoke, Taval at the same time, parlait, scarves, ah no, 
cigarettes lighters and white shirts des were given to the leaders. Des de Then he would say, you are all captains. He repeated, you are all captains, colonel. He pointed at and walked out joking with the cadres after the meeting. He compared the selection of mobile units the same the military did. The plan was at Phnom Khan Kleng. The plan could not be executed, but I just learned about that plan. Not meeting for killing people. If there was a meeting to have a plan, it was in secret. In what year? The year was in late, probably in late 77. Was there a plan? It was a plan to arm the mobile unit, but it could not be executed. The supplies had already arrived. The progress of this plan was not known, and we were unable to speak about it. It was clear, so we did not need to speak about it. This out. When there was a plan as such, you were armed Question. and then went on? No arms were given and the plan was never executed. The arrest was launched and then it became quiet. Who was arrested? At the time, Tahoum and Taval were arrested and taken away. Now this is... Um, Mr. Witness, Monsieur an excerpt témoin. of a witness that you just uh, said you recognized about Taval. You yourself said that you knew Taval quite well. Reconnu. Does this uh, somehow jog your memory? Thank you. Le President, Président, please hold on, Mr. Witness. Monsieur you have the floor now, and National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. M'oppose à I cette lecture, étant donné que, certes, le témoin a confirmé qu'il connaissait euh, la personne qui a déclaré euh, ces choses-là et qu'il connaissait tous les deux Taval. Par contre, la défense a pris soin de ne poser aucune Taval, question sur no l'existence d'un plan éventuel. Et donc, lit d'abord tout un très très long so paragraphe d'une interview, enfin, deux pages pratiquement, pages, in fact, uh, de manière à influencer toute réponse to qui pourrait euh, venir de la part du témoin, parce qu'il s'agit de quelqu'un qu'il connaît. Je pense que la méthode n'est pas vraiment acceptable. So Il aurait fallu poser des questions ouvertes d'abord et ensuite éventuellement le confronter à ce que quelqu'un d'autre aurait dit. Dans l'état actuel des choses, il me semble que c'est de nature à influencer le, le témoin. Et il faudrait en revenir à des questions ouvertes au préalable. Merci, Uh, Mr. President, I've asked uh, the witness whether he knew um, why Taval and Tahung were arrested. He said he didn't know. Uh, now there is another witness who seems to give a reason for the arrest. Um, after having asked uh, whether he knows this other witness, he confirms, and I think um, I was now entitled to read this excerpt um, uh, from that statement uh, to the witness.
President, the objection by the international deputy co-prosecutor to the last question la put chambre. by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia, Mr. Kope, is overruled. You Rejette can now put, uh, repeat your question, uh, Counsel Kope. I read Mr. Witness an excerpt from uh, that person's statement to you. Um, he talks about uh, a meeting where Taval spoke, uh, handing out cigarettes and scarves and white shirts. Um, does that somehow um, jog your memory or not at all? But, President, please, please wait, uh, uh, Mr. Cope, uh, Judge Lavenge, you have the floor now. Oui, j'ai un problème parce que je ne suis pas sûr. Il y a peut-être un problème de traduction. Mais chaque fois que vous posez une question au témoin, vous demandez si ça lui rafraîchit la mémoire. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir que les souvenirs sont les souvenirs réguliers. Mais tout d'abord, il faut établir mais euh, il n'a pas forcément les mêmes souvenirs. Donc il ne s'agit pas de rafraîchir sa mémoire, mais de le confronter à ce qui a été dit par quelqu'un d'autre. Fine, I have no problem in reformulating at all. Um, Mr. Witness, can you give a reaction to this statement, please? Pouvez-vous réagir à ce que je viens de vous lire? This witness spoke about a meeting, uh, meeting that, uh, during which Taval spoke. He spoke to uh, members of the mobile unit, it seems, uh, handing out scarves, white shirts. There was a plan, a secret plan that wasn't executed. Can you give a reaction to this statement that I just read to you? Can you reaction to this statement that I just read to you? The statement by that individual is not known by me. Je ne sais rien de In ce relation to scarves, clothes, and sandals, yes, we receive uh, those vrai, kind of stuff. And uh, the chief of uh, battalion uh, handed Et out uh, those stuff uh, to all of us. And as for one hundred members at Gon Klein. I was the one who went to Gon Klein and uh, drew the forces of one hundred member. I was there and uh, I could see uh, that there were spats. Je pouvais voir qu'il y avait des and uh, uh, the Laborers try to cover uh, one leg at that place so that uh, they could do Et rice farming. I uh, went to that place with a tow to withdraw the force back. It's interesting that you mentioned uh, Kong Klang. Um, this particular witness is saying that the plan was at Phnom Penh Klang. Because you yourself, to DC Cam, uh, when interviewed, said um, the following: zero English zero zero seven two eight six three two. Um, French zero one one two three five nine seven. And Khmer zero zero seven. Three zero seven nine eight. Question: What happened? You answer. 
répondez. When so Nim Quand so Nim and so Pim, et so Pim were hunted, about 200 to 300 people were sent to Khan Kleng, but later were called back to Trapping Tmar. Now let me first ask you about the first part of this sentence. When So Nim and So Pim were hunted, what did you mean with that? Quand vous dites que l'on pourchassait So Nim et So Pim, que voulez-vous dire? Answer. Regarding this matter, réponse. when you are talking about Sao Pim, I have no idea Quand at all. So Pim, But as for Tan Yum, I may Quand have known something Yum, about him. Il est possible que su quelque chose à son sujet. I was talking and I have been talking about Ruh Nyum. Moi, j'ai parlé de so Rosnim. if you are talking about Sao Pim, Hmm. Donc, I think si, perhaps si have, uh, 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 there was a mistake in relation to typo. Uh, well, I'm not sure about that because on that very same page you refer to Tanim and Tamim Tapim again. Um, so I, I see um, on the English same page um, Tapim and uh, Tanim and Khmer one Tanim. page later and French one page later Tanim et and Tapim. So you spoke two times to this investigator about Tapim. Why did you mention Tapim? Tapim. Pourquoi avez-vous parlé de Tapim? Answer. As for Nyum, it was a Ruh Nyum. Nyum, c'est Ros Nyum. For Pum, Pum. I uh, did not know the surname. Je I do not know this uh, person the by the name uh, Pum. Uh, it is Pum. perhaps uh, the typo Mais mistake. Une de I have never talked anything about Sao Pum or Ta Pum. De sa Pum, ou de ta Pum. It is true that I'm, I was mentioning uh, Sao Pum. Uh, in that document, not Sao Pim. Document, Sao Pim. Mr. President, maybe we can take the break and, and look, look for the Khmer version, uh, uh, whether he actually speaks of Sao Pim. Uh, Khmer, 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 President, thank you, Council. Merci. It is now convenient time for a short break. The Chamber will take a short break from now until 10.3. Court officer, please find a proper room for this witness and duty council during the break time. And please invite them back into the court's room at 3.10. The court is now in recess.